Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to this Let's Try of Comics Breaker. As you saw, it's by Mojito Games. It is rated ages 9+, plus, free to play. It's a roguelike deck-building adventure. Aha, there are more downloads, apparently. Hmm. And other than that, it does have in-app purchases, so just know that, parents, going in. We'll check out what it's like together. But right now, it looks like they are going for that kind of comic book look, at least with the texture on the comics and the logo. Yep, yep. I'll be back when it's done downloading. Okay, and after that download, it is loading table data, so probably the card data itself? Hmm, going pretty fast. Yeah, Alright. What do you have for me? Object loading. Okay, so a lot of loading stuff. Here we go. I'm gonna turn up the volume. And I sign in. All right, let's dive in. Um, okay. I'm great to those policies. Maybe we're really good to read those. Comics are coming alive, or we're going into them? Okay. Just a normal day. Oh, the dog. Okay. There's a lot of paper flying. That was a very fun cutscene. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Or intro sequence, I guess. So apparently that happened already. Alright, welcome to Comics Breaker. We can start with the classic mirror. There's a tutorial, okay. Yes, getting the free stuff would be nice. Okay, eat first. Ah, there's energy. Okay, power is a buff that increases the attack power. Power plus three when battle starts. Hmm. Combination of snacks and cards is the key to success. Okay. I'm guessing that's a consumable then, right? Stage one in the tutorial. It lets you see where the boss is, or what the boss is, even at the beginning. That's nice. Okay. Into the comic. Except for the food truck and rest area, the stage layout is randomly generated for every game. Current location. Boop, boop. Yeah, the double tap, okay. Maybe because it had that pop-up trying to tell me stuff. Grow your stats by enha enhancing equipment. Okay. Jen's finding emergency kits and card removal. You can try the restart battle button. Mm -hmm. Stat effects and curse cards are different in every chapter. You can earn more rewards in the competition mode than the classic mode. Ads can give you different bonuses. Oh, that reminds me of that uh, that other anime roguelike I tried. Okay. Hmm. This guy looks kind of bored. <laughs> Let's liven up his day. This is the set of cards you can use in this turn. Energy required. Okay. Resets every turn. End of my turn. I think I will attack. Okay, a deck is shuffled with cards from the discard pile. That makes sense. My turn. Okay, getting ready to attack. Let's attack first and defeat it. Okay, and it is red for attack and all that. Okay, we're dealing nine damage already. I guess because of our snack. Giving us that plus three power to stack. So six damage normal. Okay, we get rewards. Badges are temporary currency. Okay, that's very important. We have 58 health. Attack weakness. Deal 11 damage for two. 
Weakness plus two. That must be a special status effect. Probably like vulnerable inside the spire, I guess. Or where the enemy deals less damage. Okay. Two stage two. Weird snack shop. First order free. I make snack however I want. Okay. Give me a snack. Vanilla cone. Ooh, defense two at every turn's end. That's not good enough. Let's try again. So we can use our badges here. Wow, you got a soba noodle. Oh, soba noodles. They're pretty good. I think that's buckwheat noodles. Apply weakness to enemy, weakness enhancement. Plus 30%. Yeah, increased damage taken. Okay. So that's 60% then? Hmm. Okay. So does that mean I automatically eat that? No, come back later. All right. So I've got which things active? Three types of events, good, neutral, and bad. Let's go with a good event. Oh, the smell of barbecue. Get a random snack. Omelette rice, or om rice. Hmm. We get a three to random enemy, only for the first turn. Okay. So food is kind of like relics. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, I've got the omelette rice. Did it replace the, uh, the one star food to get the soba noodle? It looks like it did. Okay, so buying another food means you're replacing the one you just got, as far as I can tell. My toy. So it's got weakness and all that jazz. Let's double check. Grants a self buff. Uh, I'm trying to see your status effects though. Ah, debuffs. Okay, you have to click on that. 30% increased damage taken, and we enhance that by another 30. So yeah, 60%. Deals 9. 12 damage, power plus 1 whenever this card is used. So we can just win. Yeah. Looks like it didn't calculate the weakness on the card. So that's important to note. That is separate. Seems like an iffy situation to add these cards now. We can skip. Alright. They consume badges though. Oh. That's interesting. So you pay to keep your deck synergies the way you want. Hmm. Apparently we can duplicate snacks. I tried to read that little tooltip in the bottom. You look angry. A strong elite monster appeared. It's getting ready for a strong attack. This is when you need a defense card to block. Okay. Over to me. Uh, that's only four defense? That's not great. Do I care? Now let's do more damage so we can kill it faster. Plus it only has that weakness effect on the first turn. Should have done more damage, but... Oh well. Sometimes you just have to race to the finish. It's gonna to try to block, isn't it? Well... Attack weakness. So does that stack that? It just makes the turns last longer. That makes sense. Uh, so let's just take you down. There we go. Receive a character card. I got more badges. Almost enough for a skip, but not quite. Okay. Ooh, upgraded card appears when you win an elite battle. We already have two weakness-related snacks. How about choosing a power-up card this time? Okay, but the two times three with the weakness would be pretty good. And our plus three power should mean that is like six twice. That's not half bad, but okay. Power up we will take. Not a bad card, just saying. It has durability one one, so my guess is you can use it once in combat before it's used up. Hmm. Okay. Whew, we arrived at the rest area. You can do one of three things at the rest area. Recover HP. Remove unwanted cards from the deck. Or pick a card to enhance. Let's try enhancing. Makes sense to me. We have badges. Okay, upgrade the attack weakness. That makes some sense to me. Okay. Has a plus sign in the name and the color changes to green. They're stronger than before. I wouldn't say that's much stronger, but okay. It is decent. All rested. Okay. To the boss. Yeah, what's up, Dak? 
Godfather Ghost. It's here. Chapter boss is finally here. Arg! Death boss check its info. You can do it. Yeah. Classic death blow. Damage equal to number of hits is accumulated. Classic death blow every three turns resets after attack. Oh, so we don't want to do a bunch of hits. Okay. We can only defend eight, right? So we take 12. I think we want to do this, especially since we have the weakness right now. Uh, wait, we could do power up. I think that's better than power up at the moment. It's about the same. Okay, yeah, and the death blow thing can activate for this turn. Okay. We're just doing other things. We could do that. Keep weakness going. Uh, attack, 10 damage. Just double checking. Okay. We do that. How much do you defend, though? Ha! Huh, your bureaucracy is weak. Paper pusher, I will defeat you. Hmm. I think we still have weakness up. Let's just do attacks. And if it does just four defense again, we're fine. That's right. Beware of my attack powers. 17 damage. Here comes 19. Okay. A lot of uh, unnecessary explosions. So, A+. Plus. All right. Chapter clear. Doo -doo -doo. Perfect guard. Strongest hit. Bonus. Enhanced snacks. Acquired. Enhanced cards. Remaining HP. So you do get a score kind of like Slay the Spire. Hmm. Yeah, did it. And apparently there's something over here. Oh, okay. Did that cost me money to do? Or if I share, do I get those five gym things? Okay. Well, we get our weapon. Our dog sword. Level up. Okay. Now let's put all the equipment we obtained. Makes sense to me. We have to go to this room. We obtained a rare equipment. Okay. What do you do? Hmm. When you equip an item, the stats increase, and you'll be able to use equipment cards. Okay. It has durability 1-1. One, one. Deals 7 damage if enemy is killed. Restores HP. That's pretty nice. Time to make a nickname. Okay. I think we all know what I'm going to go. Uh, cost rupees after the initial change. Got it. All right. Change the nickname. Check. Okay. Okay. Do 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 do. Current character is Steve, so we can even have different characters. Ooh. Okay, character info. Oop. Stats, strength, dex, endurance, wisdom. So that's going to matter for some reason. For every three stats, single attack card damage plus one. For every nine stats, chain attack card damage plus one. Okay, de dexterity gives you more defense, endurance, more HP. Okay. And Wisdom means you recover more. And you can get different battle rewards. Interesting. And we have four items we can wear. Alright then. Clear Pizza Boy. Alright Pizza Boy. It's time to clear up that acne. And yes, there is an energy system it looks like. Well, in basic difficulty, only one boss will appear. Gun Shooter Guardian, max stat limit 15. Monster attack, minus 40%. Monster HP, half of what normally is. We get a vanilla cone. So defense 6 at the end of every turn. Okay. Seems pretty easy for us. Eat first. There's my vanilla cone. That's a 3-star version. Instead of the 1-star version I think we saw last time. I gave 2 defense. So it looks like it's just stat-ups, basically. Depending on the rarity. Alright. Hmm. Battle start. Hmm. So we can defend. Or just win. I mean, just winning seems good. 
Okay, wait, he's inflicting something on me, right? Ah, it gets more powerful every card I play. That makes sense. Okay. He received a rare equipment card. Hmm. Equipped items can be used in the game in the form of cards. We knew that. One card every time you clear stage. Character card and snack combination even better. At any time, and you can also skip it freely. Why would I want to skip it though? Receive. Okay, that seemed even better than my rare one. Card reward. Blind. Five damage to random enemy every time HP is decreased. My HP or theirs? That's kind of important. Zealot. Consumes one HP at the start of every turn, but you get more power. Oh, okay. It's very similar to Slay the Spire. Timbering. Cannot be enhanced. Deal six damage whenever this card is used. Damage plus two for rest of game. Huh. That one seems interesting, but we'd need a smaller deck to make that useful. Whereas Zealot's pretty much always good. As long as we're not taking too much damage. One HP is a small price to pay for winning faster. In general. Okay, and here's our boss. We can just click that to go see him after 10 stages. All right. <laughs> okay. We have 130 batches. Oh, so I can defend, and that's fine. We'll do that to try to get more power on that card. Oh, why did I even defend? There's no point. There's my plus six defense. It does stack. That's nice. Hmm. I didn't need to defend though. <laughs> okay, receive my card. Hmm, we can skip for 60. We only got 20 badges that time, though. Attack weakness. Shock is interesting. Deal 5 to everybody and give them weakness. Hmm. Power up. That's another power. I think we've already got enough power, though. Let's receive this one. Alright, then. First order free. Uh, three star confirmed if you watch an ad for it. Let's not do that for now. Squid Skewer. Ooh, I kind of like that. Plus one energy for every five cards used. I'm betting different rarity means fewer attack cards used or more. You're a person of justice. Why don't you take my sponsorship? Okay, get money. That seems pretty good. I'll do that. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Mark my words. I only offer you the truth. Eternity and reality. So that's a Morpheus reference. Blue pill, red pill. Restore HP or get badges. Reality. Welcome to the real world. Where badges matter to Scoutmasters. Okay. You can remove a card. Card enhancement. Huh. I think we remove a card. I think that's better. Yeah. Let's get rid of my normal attack. Okay. Card has been removed. <laughs> it gets flamethrowered. Crunch. All rested. Okay. Oh, I could have still recovered 8 HP. Hmm. Mystery stage. You can change the stage by using badges. All stages except the boss stage will be available. Use this exchange strategically. Tap the button below to reset it. Okay, so I can reset for 20. Don't really care to, though. Eh, we'll try it. Yeah, no, it's the same thing. Okay. We had the badges to burn. It's a hot dog. Hmm. Okay, so we will block all that damage naturally. What's your little buff? Okay, so you will heal. Ten power. I do that. Should have dealt it as well, or something. Okay, and then we defend just because. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And the squid skewer is being tracked in the bottom left of my HP bar. 
Well, below my HP bar. Hmm, we can go and attack you. We can attack your weakness. Take that, hot dog. Okay. Do, 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 do. Invocation of victory! I mean, we do have weakness on there, and that should be all of it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Eight damage to all enemies. Not bad for one. Wide slash. Hmm. Counter attack. Does a little bit more damage. That'd be good against the boss. Some 3 HP, 6% of mass HP deals 6 damage to all enemies, and that does combo with power pretty decently. Huh. So if there are adds in the boss fight, that might be useful. Okay, we'll take it. It only costs 1 as well. And we have plenty of HP to consume for power at the moment. And we can heal the us. Order a snack. I want Shrimp Tempura. Invincibility plus two when turn two starts. Hmm. Let's pick again. I don't think I need the invincibility on one specific turn. Card attack increases by 30%, but when an attack card is used, status effect. Dizziness plus two to draw a pile. I don't think I want that. Hmm. Onion rings. Okay, that's fine. Oh, uh, right. That prevents us from needing to defend quite as much. Oh, there's only five resets in the total, looks like, in each little adventure you do. All right, Donut with an axe, Cleaver. Cleaver. Okay, this was unexpected. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. I think we do attack weakness. And then we do a normal attack. And my twin. Squid Skewer will activate in three more attacks. <laughs> it's not enough damage. Sword. So, if I can do normal attack. Score this as 10. It does say the actually modified damage above your head. So that's nice. Not quite enough. I was hoping it would work, but uh, forgot about the guard. Oh, no damage. And now, I don't need to use that. We do that. Ooh. Okay, we're learning. Ooh, first aid kit. Confirm. Okay, character card. A better attack, weakness, we've already got one. Love bomb, chain attack to random enemy. Deals three damage times number of cards held. Only has one durability. Grit your teeth. Power plus one with every hit taken. So during a multi-hit boss battle, that'd be good. But it looks like it goes away after that. Let's take this one. Because I think after it's used once, it'll go away or something. Hmm. Still not entirely certain what durability really translates to per combat or per adventure. Uh, let's enhance a card. Alright, so... We can make you better. Huh. Sell it plus... Oh, it's cheaper. That's actually... Yeah, okay. Let's do that. That'll be good before the Bosch battle. Okay. I didn't really need my badges, like, at all. Okay. Maybe later on we'll have a shop or something with those. Of course, you're supposed to use them to skip some cards. Gun Shooter Guardian, it's here! Immunity. What? Okay, negates debuffs. So I bet we can uh, make you regret that. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, I'll just defend because I can. <laughs> Alright. We definitely do fine there. Defense does not carry over, which makes sense. Invoke victory. And we could be a zealot. Zealotry. 
and invoking victory. Okay, so eventually our power going up will be pretty useful. We will be able to get more energy once we play more attacks. This thing should have enough uh, HP for us to see it. Okay, and then I get 16 defense because of my onion rings every three times. Number of cards held. I'm not going to get more. Uh, I will get more power, though. So let's double check. This is probably better to use now. What do you need? Infiltration. So that's 13. 7 times 2 is 14. For just a little bit of health. And we have so much defense, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Did he counterattack me? No. Okay, but we'll save the better attack card for when we have more power. Should be a good finisher. Hmm, nine damage incoming. Okay, so let's do one defense. That'll protect us, and then we can still attack weakness. And it's not immune anymore, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so 8 damage incoming. How much would you do now? 55, you'll say. And it does have weakness, which is why we're getting 55. Hmm. That's pretty good. I think we just do that before it does any crazy cool things. And then I will defend while that's going on. And we'll end our turn. It's trying to heal. How much will it heal? Okay, 13. So I am losing health, but I've got plus 10. So as you can see, that's quite a bit right there. Alright. And we win. Booyah. Take that, gun shooter guardian. I'm a child that only reads comic books. You had no chance. Okay. Bonus torn cards. Oh, for removing a card. Okay, then. Chapter bonus points, Pizza Boy. So, depending on which chapter you finish, looks like you might get better points and stuff as well. And I got some gloves. Hey, boxing glove. Weakness plus two if enemy intends to attack. Otherwise, weakness plus one. Okay. It's not bad for one, I suppose. I did it. So, we got our rewards. Battle Pass Experience. Okay. Play level experience. What does that actually translate into? Okay. Well, so far this game seems great. So I'm wondering if there will be issues in the future with the energy system or something that people won't like. Okay. Let's go inside the workshop. It's enhancing an equipment increases its stats. We can use other equipment as material. But using enhancement stones can help save gold. And they also grant lots of enhancement XP. So I would like to work on my sword. Make it tougher. Okay. So it takes both of these to level it up to one. That's plus three strength on the sword, though. It's 18k. Ooh. Okay, well... Seems decent. Okay. So yeah, if they keep making things insane or more difficult over time and you need to pay in order to do stuff, I can see why people might get a little miffed at the game. Competition mode is now open. Okay, what's that? Until end of season, do we face other players? Time attack mode with a time limit. Your ranking is determined by speed. You can obtain stars by clearing the game. Okay. The mode difficulty increases. This is where you get gold. Or get good, as they say. Rewards for clearing are shown here. Okay. So, people probably do this most of the time. And there's seasonal equipment. Can I use equipment from some past seasons? Okay. The higher stat efficiency in the competition mode, the higher the seasonal level. Seasonal level is reset when the season changes. You will gain 10% of the play score from the competition mode as XP. Okay. 
Magnifying glass can help us. Uh, and it costs five energy, huh? Hmm. Season gimmick? A rib steak season. So if I click here, will that pop up again? Okay. An additional random card will be enhanced when enhancing a card at the rest area. Okay. And season's equipment. Uh, looks like... Ooh. Three energy, 25 damage? That seems pretty good. Ish. Hmm. Clear rewards. Okay. Well, I guess we'll try this. I was thinking we would have ended the let's try, but uh, we'll try this first. Okay, I get the snack. I can tap the book to start the game. It's the Pizza Boy book. Mm-hmm. Huh, stage one. Here's me. There's other people apparently doing this as well. More stages. Wow. So yeah, hmm. I think I'll make a part two, dear viewer. Leave a like if you've enjoyed Comics Breaker Let's Try so far. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below on what you think of it. And I hope you have a great day.